Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. Um, so, we're continuing Recipe for Turnabout, the Part 2 Trial. I was thought there was a, to be continued after the last one. You but there's not. We just had to stop when uh, the judge said, yeah. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Maggie Bird. Oh, yeah. Now, now I remember. <laughs> I was like, what is in this case again? Now I remember Maggie Bird came back. <laughs> how many how, not, uh, how many weeks has it been? A couple weeks? A couple weeks. Not since I started recording Pup Hut Enters the Race. I don't Which think... Of, uh, um, it's gonna yeah, be hard to top it's that. It's gonna be hard to top that. <laughs> I'll try, though. With our voices. Mr. Godot, your next witness, please. The prosecution calls the lucky old-timer who caught up the show over a cup of coffee. Will the witness please take the stand? Yeah. Name and occupation, if you don't mind. You know he's an important character because he has his theme music playing over yeah. the trial music. The name is Victor Kudo, born and bred in the land of the rising sun. So, honor and, honor and duty are what make me. Mind you, I can be quite emotional at times, too. We don't need to hear that, Mr. Kudo. Just tell the court your occupation. My occupation? Ha! Listen, Yannin! How much do you think you they call? How much call do you think there is for kimono embroidery here? Kimono embroidery? That's what I do or did back in Japan. I embroidered family crests on kimonos. I mean, that's a cool job. My ancestors were embroidering kimonos before this country even existed. Wow, Japan funny. Wow, real craftsmen. They're a dying breed. Hey, maybe he could embroider my costume sometime. Anyway, like I said, there's not much demand for that kind of thing here. So I had to take a job working the cash register at a burger joint, pretending to smile. That burger joint would have been better off putting him in the kitchen. Now then, witness, were you in the restaurant at the time of the incident? I don't think it would be better putting him in the kitchen because it's like, Here, let's add some bitches! He <laughs> would <laughs> uh. That would be terrible. Oh yes! I was eating some seeds over a cup of java chino. Was he eating the bird seeds? <laughs> seeds? Was he like- What do you think these are, hmm? <laughs> uh, uh, I see. Just eating them? This is great. So you saw everything that happened, Gramps? Oh, don't you call me. Did I? Oh yes! Yo, oh, yes I did! I saw it all! Then please tell the court. We're all ears. Sure, sure! I'll tell you, I'll tell you every last detail. He's really getting into this. Oh boy. My uh, voice is going to die before the end of the uh, trial period, I think. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine for no, you. Not, not fine that your voice <laughs> dies. I'm like, it's fine if you don't end up being able to read everything perfectly. <laughs> what I witnessed. The young man was reading the sports paper. Cool. The serving girl brought him a javachino, but she put something in it. The man took one sip of it, looked like he was in terrible pain, and then collapsed. Ooh. That's the serving girl, right there in the defendant's chair. I remember her well. Yeah, we know, you're a perv. Okay, so, <laughs> he would remember her well, so it's probably not... The only thing I can think of is if the weird chick we keep seeing that's like... We saw her around. once. Okay, I saw her twice. We saw her once. You thought you saw her twice, but it was Mia. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Okay, we saw her once. It could be that was her or something. Could be something like that. Please talk into the microphone Sorry, and not facing dropped, the opposite direction of it. <laughs> so what do you think? Okay, no. What do you mean, Barney? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I forgot about Mr. That. Kudo, she is not a serving girl. Please refer to her as a waitress. Ka! You're as bad as the rest of them. All these newfangled words! What's wrong with the old-fashioned ones, hmm? Like, serving girl? <laughs> okay, I, not- that's a bad example he gave, but I agree a lot of the new slain sucks. Can we please let the word bay die? Yeah, I would agree with you. There are some where I'm like, this is kind of funny, and then there are lots where I'm like, this is terrible, why is this in the English language? Because when not. I it's when slain. I took, No, but when I took Japanese, one of the most hilarious conversations I would have with my teacher <laughs> is that, like, she would learn, she's learning English while we're learning Japanese, and she would just be like, what is ship? Like, as a verb mean, I'm like, oh boy. Like, we have to explain everything. So you know relationships, right? Right, right. But it's like, she'll yeah. ask these things where she's like, what is Adidas? 
Or Adidas, sort or of, whatever. We're like, oh, like the clothing brand or whatever. Oh. But like, she's I'm like, like, I'm not familiar with that word. Yeah, but exactly. It's like even Americans don't understand. Newfangled? All this talk of radios and glasses, it's wireless and spectacles, I tell you. Uh, excuse me. Listen to me, everyone. Don't forget the old values. Don't let the good old days slip away. Yeah. Well, um, I think it's time to begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I, I think this guy's more entertaining than an old bag, though. I just realized, I thought he was wearing a bow. Now I just realized he's wearing, like, a band. But it looks it's like, like a headband a with, a, with bow a bow on it. What I witnessed. Young man was reading the sports paper. Does the guy have a neck? Or does he, or Victor is that Kudo his, or him? No, no, Victor Kudo. Because I thought he like his head just went into his neck. I mean, he has a neck. It's just his head droops. Okay. See, my immediate thing was I was just like, this is the ugliest neck. <laughs> like if you like. No, that's his blend chin, together, Marty. <laughs> I was like, okay. So you Sorry. saw the victim then? You saw Mr. Glenn Elg. Elg. I wanted to know if Guts and Braun retained his championship or not. What? So he was looking at the sports paper the victim was reading, huh? Wait, does Victor... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna keep calling him Victor Crumb. Anyway. <laughs> um, Victor Crumb? Victor Crumb! No, so he comes up and he's like, Hey, what are you reading? Just like starts reading over his No, I think he's just over reading his over his shoulder. shoulder like a weirdo? Just like... Wait, but if that's the case... He either he'd be doing one of two things. He'd either like grab his chair and like awkwardly come over, and the dude's just like, eh, whatever, okay. No, he's trying or, to read from across the room. <laughs> that's impossible. That's the second option. Or third option, he's sitting in the booth and he's like doing that thing that every little kid does when they're in a booth seating, where they're like look over and be like, <laughs> look, DW, <laughs> like well, he could that do that. Looks well. Good. Mm, those look <laughs> good. <laughs> the burgers. And the location in question is there. There are partitions between the tables on the same side of the restaurant, right? So what if there are? If you say that you could see the victim, that means you were sitting at a table on the other side of the restaurant, correct? Ha! I go to that place to drink Java Chino. I don't go to sit. I don't remember what table I was sitting at. This is a murder case, sir. You mean you go there to eye the waitress? <laughs> we're not going to say that, though. <laughs> Not out loud in court, but no. I'll say it in my video. It's oh, yeah. This game's rated T. I'm go I'm okay with my commentary being oh, T. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I'm not gonna intentionally do it, but I won't censor as much as I oh, would yeah. in other videos. Like I, <laughs> I remember in the Pump Butt Enters the Race videos, I had to censor you twice. I just like she didn't say anything terrible. It's just like I'm like, yeah, that's subject matter that I'm not really comfortable yeah, putting probably. in there. But it, but like because it was like a whole conversation, it's like so then we Oh no, oh no, oh oh oh, oh no <laughs> like, it made it sound like you were, like, swearing like a sailor. <laughs> Wait, what episode was that? Two it... or three? I watched them all! I don't remember... I thought you just muted our commentary the whole time during one part. Uh, during the Mrs. Airbag part, yeah. Right, but I didn't hear anything like, me. <laughs> no, it wasn't that part. It was, we were coming out of Torval's farm, getting oh. lettuce. <laughs> oh! I thought yeah. you just muted the whole thing there. I turned off the volume, but I also added in the sensor sounds. I don't know. I didn't hear it. The so. serving girl brought in a java Sorry. chino, but she put something in it. Yeah, it's... We're I'm not really, gonna do that in this video. We're really slow. Mr. Kudo, that is a very grave accusation. Are you sure about what you saw? No. Victor Kudo never makes mistakes! I dot every T and cross every I! <laughs> I, I see. My eyesight's fine! The doctor said I only need spectacles for reading and driving. Uh, I bet his eyes are only really fine when he's scoping out a waitress. And I saw what the serving girl put into the Javachino as well! I bet I know what's coming up and something tells me I'm not going to like it. Leave it or press harder. Well, either way, something's gonna happen, but it would be funny to press harder. Your Honor, we need more clarification on what was put into the victim's coffee. I'd like to ask that the witness add what he knows about this to his testimony. Hmm... I agree. Good. Which witness, will you put enlighten us, please? Sure, sure. She put salt in. There's no question about it. She very conspicuously put some white powder in there. Wasn't it? No, it wouldn't have been translucent. Then it's like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Did she really put that into the coffee? You doubt me, boy. She took some out of a small brown bottle and sprinkled it in. <laughs> Couldn't she have been adding sugar? 
Sugar in a small brown bottle like that? Like that? Witness, could you please describe the bottle in more concrete terms? Ha. A bottle like this, perhaps? Oh, there it is! That's the one! That's the bottle of potassium cyanide, I presume. So, what did the accused put into the coffee? I think it's clear, don't you? Ah. Well, we have a statement. Took one <laughs> sip and collapsed. Okay. He took just one sip? You yunnins! You waste everything! Those Java Chinos cost eight dollars! In the good old days, we would have drank every last drop, eaten the cup, and then died! Congratulations! You have earned the title of Baddiest Man to Grace a Courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> so it was an immediate death? Well, with potassium cyanide, I suppose that is possible. Oh yes! He slumped over without so much as a twitch! I felt the Java Chino I just drank turn sour on my stomach! Maybe it's because it was that bad. Oh yes, I know that feeling. And the waitress? I presume she is... That's the serving girl right in the defendant's chair. How convenient uh -huh. <laughs> that you can see her now. You said, I remember her well in reference to the waitress. Did she have any particular features that you can identify her by? Particular features? It's a disgrace, that's what it is. Sorry? You could see all the way up to her, her, you know, she's practically naked in that uniform. So the particular feature you recognize about the waitress is her outfit? But anyone could wear such a uniform, even me! Mr. Wright, please spare the court of any further mental anguish from that image. <laughs> Don't get all excited, Nick. You gotta keep yourself together. I guess I got a bit carried away. But it's true. Since That's a baby! Because it's just like. It, the entire court was like, well, this is Frank's right. Like, the dude, like, you could have any girl walk in. It could be that girl that we saw earlier. It could be, like, you know. <laughs> fake, anyone. Fake, it could be Zinio. <laughs> Zinio. Probably walk not. In, <laughs> walk in and be like, oh, well, somebody that's wearing this uniform. <laughs> that's like. I, Probably I mean, not Zinio. <laughs> no, not Zinio, but I'm saying, like, if there was, like, a fake Maggie Bird. Bergy. <laughs> that's possible. Or something. Bergy. Bergy. <laughs> Bergy mad. Bergy mad! <laughs> Ka! There are other fiends I recognize about her, too! He seems pretty sure of himself. What should I do? <laughs> I want to see what happens if we push harder. <laughs> oh, boy. Sure, you saw a waitress take the coffee over to the victim. But what matters is whether that waitress is Maggie Bird or not. Quite right. Mr. Kudo, these other features that you recognize about the defendant, I would ask that you add them to your testimony. Yeah! Sure, sure! He's, he's a very agree- I won't say agreeable, agreeable, but he's a very, like, competent witness. Yeah. And he's not- well, he's kind of being rude, but he not is, really to the judge. But it's not like the people who, who- who was it that we had keep just, like, yanking testimony out of their mouths? I mean, there's a few people, but, like, who- <laughs> Um, like, was it the killer? <laughs> maybe. Or, uh, maybe it was, oh, I can't Keep, even Or it's like the testimony keeps getting longer. Probably Old Bag or Lana Hart. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the people where it's like, can we find any stupid contradictions and then, like, oh. finally we can prove something. Oh, okay. There was a ribbon in her hair and her apron straps were loose. Brilliant physical features that would definitely demonstrate <laughs> a different person. <laughs> you do seem to remember several details about her appearance. But what about the most crucial detail of all? Her face. Eh. Ha! As if I wouldn't remember that! The, witch, well, the witness noticed the straps on the accused apron. He's unlikely to make a mistake about her face. That's right! I can even tell you the color of the ribbon in her hair! It was red! But the uniform you know perfectly. Right. So you see, there's nothing wrong with the witness's eyesight. He hmm. has yet to prove that he knows her face. It's true. There's no doubt he remembers the waitress pretty well. What should I do? I get the feeling there's something more to this somehow. Yeah, we're... Ask about the straps, ask about the waitress's back. The waitress's back?! Ask about the location of the ringmaster's head. <laughs> Wait... Okay, first of all, the back of them. It's like... Whatever. <laughs> Cause I'm back in black! <laughs> oh, wow. No, but I'm thinking, like, if it's a girl with, like, short black hair, and it's the same uniform turned around, it could look like anybody. If you ask about the straps, I don't know what you that would be. You could go on to... 
I was going to say Craigslist. And be like, Need a girl with short brown hair, no questions asked. <laughs> Craigslist? <laughs> Isn't that where you, like, buy furniture? You could buy a lot of stuff you on Craigslist. There's that guy on Parks and Rec who hired a fake mom on Craigslist. But again, that's also fiction, so. I forgot about that episode. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll leave it there. No! No, I must be imagining it. I need to find another angle with this guy. No. Do you think old CD really saw Maggie do it? Well, he probably had his eye on the waitress the whole time. That's why he was there. But he was there for the cute outfits, right? Not for the waitress. <laughs> so he's actually not as pervy as we thought. He's literally just like, the outfit's pretty cool. But you can go to a lot of different places. I know. He, it, there's probably definitely some places. aspect of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But he also he does embroider kimonos, so like it could be, it could he's be just like, like whoa, wow costumes. But dude, there's like better ways to do that. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Show. <laughs> oh yeah. Not going to like the. He super... doesn't. He can't afford Broadway. Okay, but if he, he can can't afford, even afford Sodway. If he, can, if he can afford an eight dollar cup of Java Chino a day. <laughs> he can't really, but he he makes do. <laughs> he makes do. Okay. I, I guess. Hmm. She makes a good point though. Hey, did I just say something clever? I wonder if the waitress Mr. Kudo saw really was Maggie. I don't think it will be. That's what we have to figure out, Nick. My, it, yeah, my guess is it's the other chick who we saw for like two seconds just being like, ooh, and then she left. <laughs> Pulls a quarter out from behind your ears. <laughs> that would be really weird. Mr. Yeah. Kudo, you seem especially interested in straps. Why is that? What? What? The ribbon in her hair, the straps on her apron... What's the fascination? F fascination Objection. People have all kinds of fetishes, Trite. We don't need to embarrass the witness. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Uh, listen, you yun upstarts! I haven't some sick strap fetish! <laughs> I've never triggered that dialogue okay. before. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Hmm. Is there any relevance to the witness's unusual love of straps, Mr. Wright? Uh... I was just curious as to why he was so fixated on the witness waitress's straps. I SAID I HAVEN'T GOT A STRAP FINISH! HOW MANY TIMES DO I HAVE TO REPEAT MYSELF?! Uh, very well, continue with your testimony, Mr. Kudo, and make it strapless. Do you think old Cena? <laughs> wow. That was interesting. That well, was simultaneously was worth it and very much not, not worth, worth it. it. The identifying features you described are all things you would see from the back. SO WHAT?! Is it possible that you never saw the waitress from the front at all? Ha! Huh. He's got you there, Gramps. People normally talk about facial features when they're asked to describe someone. But this witness's testimony is nothing but straps and ribbons. That this is harassment! I tell you I'm not obsessed with straps or ribbons! I'm just telling you what I saw! Okay, you saw nothing. Mr. Kudo, the court requests that you add details about any identifying features. Features you observed from the front, that is, to your testimony. Uh, maybe he's- Sure, sure! Maybe he's like, I didn't see anything. <laughs> this old man's testimony is getting longer and longer! And if I can't find a hole in it soon, it'll get even longer, I bet. There wasn't anything that caught my interest about her when I saw her from the front. Absolutely nothing! You didn't find anything to be distinct, but you did clearly see the witness's face, right? No question about it! I didn't come this far to back down now! Victor Kuro never backs down! Cool. That's not the answer I was looking for, but okay. This has turned into a matter of pride for Old City now, I guess. I wonder if he really did see Maggie's face or not. Like I thought, we need some concrete proof of this. Proof that the old guy didn't see the waitress clearly from the front. Probably... Floor plans would be what we would use. Floor plans? How would that work? No, well, okay, where he se sit it, se seated mm -hmm. versus other spots in the restaurant to show why and how he could see stuff. Oh my gosh, this is such <laughs> a long... Yeah, it was a long testimony. So this is the most recent one we got. Okay, uh, let's look at our evidence. Okay, we got attorney's badge. No. Shows where attorney the no. Magatama. We got from the kitchen. The magazine clipping about no. Zinni Ope. Uh, the sports no. paper with MC Bomber written on it. No. Job listings. The old man was looking for a job. Uh, the Trob Yon no. Lunch Special. <laughs> that was not the chef's voice. Uh, Jean's loan contract. No. I always I always pictured his name as Jean, though. Yeah. Because he seems more like a Jean than a Jean. Than a Jean. 
Peggy Jean. <laughs> Scooter, uh, ridden by Zinniope. Wheel guard's all smashed up. Glenn's autopsy report, he died of potassium cyanide poisoning between 1.30 and 2.30 p.m. That seems so vague. Like, yeah, can we, we don't re really know what it's it was. It's seven sometime within this hour. Uh, the Trabion floor maps. Oh, okay, so this it is the one be, you're like, looking at. It could be, like, the most ridiculous thing, like, when Edgeworth, like... They were trapped in the elevator, and then it was like, Ugh, and then they like. <laughs> yep, thought, that's how it happened. <laughs> no, like, but they thought they shot each other, but then they didn't. But then the, the door opened, and he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it could be something ridiculous. The, that was no, the DL6 no, incident. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the Lego version of that. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, but it could be like, th think pot pot here. Like, no, it's like, not. Okay, it could be that there's this unbelievable amount of time that has passed since <laughs> since the guy died. Where it's like, well, maybe like the restaurant chef dude like did everything. Like maybe that was the problem, and then but there was no proof because the old man was just like, nah, whatever, whatever. It could be that like Zeniope and the other chick who was, I'm guessing they're probably in cahoots. Maybe they both helped do it. <laughs> For all you know, she could just be, like, Two a seconds. random girl. Nah, nah. They wouldn't put that in for no reason. But, it, oh, it could be an alternate version of Maya. <laughs> but, but her evil double I am was not at the court. <laughs> That's true. Anyway, so the red X is where Glenn Elg was sitting, and then we think Victor Kuda was sitting there, but he doesn't remember. But we're like, if he was reading his paper, that has to be where he was sitting. Right. Here's the reason why... Oh, actually, let's look back at the floor plans. Okay. Okay, but back to the floor plan. Back to the floor plans. Okay, so let's let's like eliminate possibilities here. He can't be sitting at the same table. Correct. He can't be sitting by the front entrance. So he can be sitting at one of six seats. Why can't he be sitting at the front entrance? Like there, because there's no seats. But anyway. Oh yeah. Um. He was at if a he's, table. If he's sitting at this table. Mm hmm. If Maggie Bird comes by, doo, 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 here's your coffee. He He'd sees see the back of her. No, he'd see the front of her. She comes coming out this through. Way. And then going Unless out. if he's sitting here. But he's here. talking about when she put the thing in his coffee, which would be while she's going this way to the right. If he's seated here, he wouldn't see her put the thing in the coffee. If he's seated at the upper left, he wouldn't see. Because he the partition's see. in the way. Lower left, it's... Ambiguous. I doubt he'd be able to read the newspaper from that far right. away. Okay. All right. So there's that. There's the, crime there's the crime photo. Um. So the pl I'm just checking something. The places are set. They're silverware down. But most restaurants keep their places set ahead of time, right? Right. So v Kudo probably wasn't seated there. He couldn't have been unless if he was hiding out. There's uh, the coffee. The cup, coffee cup, which uh, we don't covered eat. in the victim of Maggie's right. fingerprints. Victim's lottery no. ticket found during a body search of Maggie. Maggie's apron has Which pockets has like of a big million stains. things. Okay. A uh, bottle of potassium cyanide. Okay. Found in her, I found it was found in her acorn pocket. Acorn. Nope. Victim's prescription bag. Oh yeah, I forgot about that entirely. Okay, I will be honest. I think it'll be the floor plans that we use to present, but I don't know what will happen if we present. You them. want to try it? Yeah. Though? Nope. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I could see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I'll have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. <sighs> Why isn't the... Uh, it must be on the wrong track. Why is the prosecution... <laughs> <laughs> if you... Okay, next time he talks like that, look at his mouth. It's like a Muppet. Like... <laughs> okay. Waka waka. Okay, well, you go for it, because I, I don't think people want to watch me try okay. and be, like, ho humming. Mr. Kudo, I would like you to please take a look at this. Ha! Oh. That filthy thing would suit filth like you just perfectly! Wow! Actually, it reminds me of what my grandson looks like just after he's done eating. Blah. Have you ever seen this before? Of course I haven't! Do you think I'd forget something as dirty as that? Hmm? Well, you have one and caught! Cool. What? What? What is it? Ever since I said you half-witted caught, there's been an eerie silence in here. <laughs> Mr. Kudo, this apron is the apron worn by the defendant on the day of the poisoning. Uh. And as you just said yourself, you wouldn't forget something like this. 
Which means, if you had really seen this apron before... Er... Yes, you know what I'm getting at. You couldn't have possibly seen the waitress from the front. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least he's honest. Witness! You can't just oops your way out of this! <laughs> ha! Well, well. Looks like we finally have a genuine trial on our hands. What do you mean genuine? Oh, there's a stupid coffee again. <laughs> Godot, you do know that, like, water's better, right? <laughs> Listen, Trite, here are the facts. On the day of the incident, there was only one waitress in the restaurant. That being the defendant, Miss Maggie Bird. Because nobody works there. Exactly. And when that one waitress put the poison in the coffee cup, this old guy was watching. Hmm. I hope you understand the gravity of the situation, Mr. Kudo. The fate of the defendant may rest on what you say he, so you, you remember seeing. <sighs> Just tell the court exactly what you saw, Gramps. This is why I like this job with driving us. <laughs> you can rely on me, Captain! My noggin's in perfect working order! Uh, I can't remember a single occasion where I forgot what burger a customer wanted! He can't remember? Probably more like he messed up so many times he's blocking it out. <laughs> Very well, let's test just how good your memory and attention to detail is, Mr. Kudo. Tell us what you remember about the victim. You want to just kind of record the rest of the trial and then we can split it up later? Sure. Or do you have, like, homework to do? Or... Uh, well, it's the weekend, so you kind of... It's the weekend. I have to go over math with Dad, but not soon. Otherwise, okay. I don't really have a ton. So we can... Catch <laughs>